Hey y'all, I hope you guys are having a great morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is in the area that you're watching this video. Just wanted to give you a quick update. We already showed one video of the flooding that we had. The linked in the description below. If you guys want to see that, that has more of the damage and devastation that occurred around the perimeter of the test waters here. And on this channel, we've been showing you the damage to the ponds and some of the infrastructure on the inside. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to give you a quick update and uh, we'll go from there. All right, y'all, we're doing a little bit of an update here. This is typically what the creek would look like at regular flow. Now it has rained the last two days, but not that much. There's that bench that was underneath the water. If you guys watched the first video, the link to that video is, is listed down below in the description. There'll also be a card for it at the end of this video. But as you could tell, thankfully the water has receded. We do have some cleanup that we're gonna need to finish doing. Get some of this into better conditions. As nature would have it, the water went down and uh, this part of the garden that did not get destroyed is starting to thrive again. We are exactly a week past the day that it flooded. That's some pretty good resiliency there for a garden. If you guys go back and watch the first video, like I said earlier, you'll see how much of the water was still covering all this area. And some things were able to get cleaned up and fixed. Some things we're still working on. This driveway up here had about a four to five foot drop off from the road. That's been filled with some gravel. We still got some work to do on the driveway there. I'll get you guys a better shot of that here in a second. We're gonna walk up here and take a look at this culvert that was completely ripped out of the ground. They came out and did a good job. This is still way more water than we're used to having. This creek should be about a third this size and width. So why they didn't dig out all this rock that washed down, I don't know. If you guys have an answer or question to that, please comment below, but the county who has a 15 foot right of way should dig this rock out, in my opinion, to relieve this pressure back here. We're still working on getting all the debris picked up from here. But this culvert that's over here has now been fixed, which is good. And the water is flowing the way it should be. So let's go take a look at the rest of the property. We still got some pretty good chunks of uh, asphalt. Taking up most of the front part of the property. We have to get that fixed. Come up here and take a look at the driveway. Or I should say the road into the farm. Take a look at that angle. We still got to get some of that debris cleaned up, guys. That bench over there, the debris that's around the flagpole. We're slowly picking away at it. What's slowed us down is it's continued to rain the last several days after the last flood. So it's not been the best conditions to get in here, but we are getting it done slowly but surely. This is some of the stuff we pulled out of the shed that was completely covered in muck and mud. Trying to fill in where the divots were, using asphalt to fill that in as best as possible. This is all the trash and furniture that washed down that was actually pushed up against this gate. You can see the gate's been bent out there. Still got to finish cleaning that out. Bill, this is the back of Pond 6. All that rock, which is right there, all washed down from the mountainside, has filled in the complete back part of Pond 6. You see where it's been pushed down. Look at all the debris. This is the back part of the pond. 
a minute I'm gonna take you to the front and you can see all the stuff that's built up on the front part of the pond mm -mm -mm. all right y'all this is the front side view of pond six and you can see all that debris that is washed down from the mountains I'm gonna have to get in there and get as much of that out as I can with the boat and the net. The longer that stays in there, that is not good for the fish. It's not good for the culvert, especially if we have another rain. And if you guys look down there, we're gonna get closer. You can see where the mudslide caved in and took out the entire front half of Pond 5. Let's go take a closer look at that. All right, y'all, what we're looking at here is the backside view of that mudslide that has caved in the front part of Pond 5. Look at all those trees. I don't know how stable this is or unstable. So we're going to get close, but also try to pay attention. Look at how those trees were just uprooted right out of the ground. Boulders, massive sized boulders. Take the whole bank out down into the pond. That's gonna take a lot of work, y'all. A few of those trees look like they're ready to come down right now, so I'm not gonna stay too close right here. Let's go give you a view from the other side. All right, y'all, this is the front of Pond 5. You can see that mud slide, landslide, whatever you want to call it, that brought all those trees into the pond. We're also going to walk over here and take a look at the culvert. Now, right here, the water spilled over. If you can see the grass laying down. And look at this, y'all. Absolutely ripped all of that dirt and rock away all the way down through there. I'm not too sure how stable this is. I feel fairly confident that it's okay to walk on. Don't know about driving. Let's take a walk over here, take a look at this. See what it did to the main culvert. Look at all those trees. The entire front part of the pond has trees in it. This culvert, you can hear it, but you can't see it. Some water is going down in it. I'll have to get something and dig that out. All right, y'all. We got the front part of that culvert dug out. This is gonna be some work. I think what I'll probably do is start with these trees here at the front, start cutting my way in, see how stable we can make this. Now that I'm about to come in up there, more likely to be safer, make sure that it's stable, start working those trees down so that I have nothing that's going to be above me that could fall or come down. Uh, guys, and what we'll have to do is just take it one day, one tree at a time, get those out of the way and removed, and then I'll be able to come over here and see what we could do about rebuilding this bank or making it somewhat usable, or if everything is intact and there's not too much structural damage to the pond that may just be how it stays for right now you know the cost of things nowadays that's not going to be cheap but at the same time we're americans and what we do is we rebuild we've been doing it since day one let's go see if there's anything else i need to show you guys at any of the other ponds all right y'all this is known as what we'd like to call our feeder pond or our crappie pond where we get our smaller fish 
get them raised up to a big enough size and then transport them into the other ponds. And as you can see, the debris and muck that has just filled this pond. If you look back there, that is where our spring comes in our off the mountain. Unfortunately with that, it brings all the debris that comes with it. So I know what the question being asked is, well, how do you, what do you do? I will get nets and a rake and a shovel. First thing we'll want to do is clean out the biggest part of the debris all these branches that washed in now guys you gotta imagine and remember when this storm came we actually had water coming all the way down this road so that's why if you look over here you'll see the road you'll see all this debris and then you also see where the debris washed into the pond they met and then it flowed over here and went down the mountain there or down the bank there so yeah, we're looking at needing to clear all this debris here. And then I gotta get over here. And because we haven't had access in a minute to be able to get in here safely, this we typically keep down pretty well. Well, this is the spillway, the culvert that goes down to the next pond. We'll have to clean that out so this water can start flowing better again. We got quite a bit of work ahead of us to put this back to where it needs to be. But uh, that's what we're gonna do, y'all. We're going to get out here, start cleaning up. We're here at pond four. And you can see here where it overflowed the bank and is continuing to overflow the bank. We are a week removed from the flood. A lot of what's holding that back right there is debris. I might need to get that cleared out of the way because I want this to dry up as quickly as possible. This is not a spillway right here. So the longer this stays wet and washes away, the more this is going to cause issues as it drains down into the next pond. And as you can see, these ponds are just at full capacity in the water. My concern is that you got to walk up here and look at this culvert. It does not look like it's draining the way I'd expect it to be draining which means it might be clogged up. That I would not be surprised. We do have a lot of debris floating down through here. Yeah, the culvert is actually completely blocked up, guys. I'm gonna have to go get some tools to get that taken care of. That won't be on this video. That is some good sign. We still see some of the fish being active. My concern is the silt and mud and everything that's washed in here, what it's doing to the oxygen levels. If you guys know anything about silt and mud and oxygen levels, comment below. Um, all I do know is that I need to get these unclogged and cleaned up as quickly as possible and get them flowing again so we can create some more oxygen. The longer they sit like this, that's not good. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this quick update of what we're trying to get done here at the ponds. Um, yeah life throws curves at you sometimes you just take the punches and get back up no matter what get back up other than that guys we appreciate you the kind words and the support you've shown us